Ah, the long wait is over. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, Joseph. Howdy do. Welcome to the stream. Ah, it has been a minute, as always. <laughs> but we are back for more reactions. Yay. <laughs> You know, watching. Oh, hey, hey, Paul. <laughs> Whenever I say your, like your name, by the way, I think of <laughs> the. Oh uh, gosh, what channel was it? Was it Nickelodeon's? Like, hi, I'm Paul, the the monkey with three eyes. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, <laughs> hey Saga. Oh man, uh, <laughs> sorry. What was I saying? <laughs> right. We're going to be watching Starship another two hours. Let's see how much we can get through of it. I'm excited. Yay. <laughs> Waiting a moment to let, you know, people pop in. Welcome, welcome, everybody who's on their way, who's joining. While we wait, I might as well tell a little bit of a story. Uh, <laughs> I talked about it yesterday on my previous stream. But I, I figure I might as well share it here. So I almost got into a car crash. <laughs> uh, which is wild, I think. You know, I, I figure that's kind of. Um, it was really scary, though. I, I mean, I'm laughing about it, but it was very scary at the time. Uh, we were on like a two way road and a bus, like a school bus, decided to just take a left turn across the, the yellow lines well, not even just the yellow lines. It was, like the whole, it was like a whole separated section. A full left turn across. And my mom, who was driving, she had to take, like, the steering wheel all the way to the to the left. And then immediately all the way back to the right after we just barely missed the bus. Because, you know, there were other cars on the, in the other lane. It was very scary. <laughs> um, this happened, like, this happened Sunday. Which was, my goodness, what a Sunday. <laughs> Glad you're kid. Yeah, no, I <laughs> just got here and I hear I'm in a car crash. Well, I was almost in a car crash. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was, it was very scary, especially because like after the fact, like I was thinking about like what would have happened if we actually crashed there, and there's no way we would have survived that. <laughs> uh, which is scary to think about, like. I, it genuinely is very like oh my gosh we actually would have died there <laughs> uh yeah i just figured i'd share that little story <laughs> about my day <laughs> but no need to worry i survived and i am here to continue my starship reacts except the doorbell just rang i'll be right back I'll be <laughs> give me a moment sorry I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you for the subscription, I think. I'm sorry that I left in the moment that <laughs> you subscribed. Womp womp. <laughs> uh, Alright. I waited enough time. We got a couple people. We even lost a person. <laughs> so, let's get into Starship. Yay. Very exciting. As always, turn off the music. Do I have it set up? I just realized that I might not have set it up for today. <laughs> nope. I just forgot. There we go. Oh, let me get rid of the death counter as well. From I have, I have a death counter for my Minecraft streams on Saturdays, which you can be there for. I don't know if you want to watch me play Minecraft. I think it was pretty fun. <laughs> okay. I'm focused. As always, we're at 480p. If you want it, want it at a higher quality, watch the original. Are right, finishing it today? Uh, did 
there are six part seven parts left including this one so maybe you know I, I might extend the stream a little bit so we can finish it all right starship act two part four oh <laughs> interesting hey junior i should spy on people more often what is that Bug want with that science idiot down on Bug World. Okay, right. <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, you were spying on. Honestly, I thought he was gonna be spying on Mega Girl and Tootsie Noodle. But then again, he probably shouldn't know about that for now. Mega Girl, I've got one final job for you. Please state a command for me to service you. I'm tired of that bug's meddling. So I'm going to follow him down to the planet and make sure he doesn't return from his little love cruise. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, yes. I think that bug's about to have a little accident involving his head and my zapper. <laughs> Wait, I, I kind of, I don't think I've mentioned it, but I kind of love how <laughs> overdramatic they are. <laughs> like, he specifically has made me think about it, but the whole, it's so cheesy. I love it, especially because it's so indicative of, Starship Trooper, which in itself is a parody of, but <laughs> it, it's all, it's so goofy. I love it. <laughs> then I'll shoot him. <gasps> with your, not with your zapper? I thought that was like the implication. I'll get that February girl impregnated by those bugs, even if I have to do it myself. Ew. So what I need from you is a little diversion. Something to keep this spacehead crew busy while I'm taking care of my business down on the planet. That cool with you? All right. Unable to accept command. <gasps> my inhibitor chip makes it impossible for me to harm humans. I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You didn't have to harm anyone. You could just, I don't know, do a little dance, distract them. I feel like they, they'd at least be a little, like, confused. <laughs> I didn't say harm anyone. Just raise some hell. Break some shit. The probability of a... A mega girl unit surviving battle with an armed starship ranger without the use of her own lethal weapon is a percent equivalent to zero. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea. You see, how much I care about my mega girl unit's survival <gasps> is also a percent equivalent to zero. <laughs> <gasps> this is why mega girl will betray you. <laughs> also, the fact that you know she likes Dizzy Noodle, but that this is why you will be betrayed. And also why maybe humanity deserved to get defeated by the robots. This explains why Optimus Prime, by the way, was working with the evil robots who uh, wanted things like, you know, very evil things like equal rights and to not be your toaster slave. <laughs> you make me sick. At least she's honest. You are nothing like my boyfriend. Yeah. You dating already? Uh, wait, what? Oh, yay. I said, you are not even half the man as my boyfriend, Tootsie Noodle. <laughs> yay. Wait. Tootsie Noodles. Yeah. The guy that dated a stack of hay. That was his cousin. <laughs> yes. That Actually, no, he did date it. Never mind. I shouldn't have brought the that one. Nature is charming to me. Earlier today, he asked if the hollow deck needed sandblasting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it was cute. <laughs> I love it. Be serious, you have a thing for that fist-brained hair. So what if I do, flesh bag? Well, uh, it's just that you're a soulless hunk of metal that can't love, and the only reason Tootsie Noodles is trying to get into your jet pants is because he thinks you're human. <laughs> You are lying. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I mean, uh, I could if I wanted to, you see. <clears throat> That's the cool thing about being human. I'm not just some pathetic imitation of life. I'm the real thing. Oof. <laughs> Lots of very harsh words. Uh, but, I mean, it's not surprising. They, uh, they have literally said robots are our slaves, so it makes sense that this is their thought process on them. Does Tootsie... Tootsie Noodle probably does think she's human. But I don't think he would feel bad, like, I don't think he'd stop loving her if he realized actually, like, oh, you're just actually not a human. Fun fact, Brian and Meredith are now married. I feel, I feel like that fact has been brought up, like, four times, but thank you for bringing it up again. 
I was glad to, to mention it. I guess, um, yeah, I guess that's why your romance is so funny to me. Because if Tootsie Noodles had any intelligence at all, he'd be able to figure out what you really are. Oof. A tool we humans use. You're like, um... Uh-huh. <gasps> That's what I said! <laughs> You're a toaster. <laughs> Say that to me again. You can't harm You're humans. A toaster. Oh. <gasps> you disgust me. Wait. I will find a way to expose you. And although I am unable to tear your puny... Wait, how could you... Does that not count as harming? I guess she, you know, scientifically, mathematically brained, well, chipped or whatever, her way into hitting him with just enough to not do any damage. And body a part, there is an 86% chance that your crew will. Okay. Well, I was going to try and do this covert, but what the hell? You think I need this crew? Wrong! You're working for me, Mega Girl, whether you like it or not. Because you see. Junior, what? apparently, she, she doesn't matter what she wants. <laughs> You said that she's a, a hunk of metal without emotions. All I have to do is remove that inhibitor chip. And then you can say goodbye to all those behavioral programs that are making you think you got a little crush. No, please don't. Yes, you'll become what all robots are at their very core. Mindless killing machines. No! Wait, the inhibitor chip is what allows... Okay. I thought it was like the other way around, that the inhibitor chip is just... I thought all that did was prevent her from like attacking people. That apparently has behavior. Okay, oh, interesting. Stop doing what you are doing. You'll wipe out this entire crew along with that fart knocker, Tootsie Noodle. No! Ah! <laughs> Annihilate human enslavers. <laughs> yes, kill all the humans. Junior, Junior, be ca be careful. <laughs> Junior, <laughs> you deserve to die there. That was so dumb. This is why you, you don't you don't do your evil laugh until you're sure that you are succeeded. You know, because <laughs> she like took her time to actually start attacking you. Oh gosh. Kill, 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 kill. What? Why didn't you. St you still didn't add, like, the command of all the humans except for me. She's going to kill you at some point. <laughs> Junior's an idiot. The evil empire are, are so dumb. All right. Oh, we're back on Bug Planet. Well, here we are. Probably has a bit too much weed when thinking his plans through. Probably. Oh, watch your step. Bag. I love that. I just want to let you know that I feel really safe with you. Oh, but that's cool. It seriously makes me want to blow chunks. What was that? Oh, it's just a happy little cricket chirping a tune with its fuzzy little legs. <laughs> Fuzzy legs, gross. What is this, France? Oh, France still exists. Add that to the to the wiki. <laughs> Assuming there it exists. February, I brought you back down here to show you something, okay? Something that can't be said. And once you see it, I think you'll understand me a whole lot more. Understand more. I, I I don't think so. I feel like this February is the kind of person that you have to very explicitly explain things to. You know, she's the kind of person. She's the reason why they have like disclaimers on the back of soap bottles that says don't drink this <laughs> i came from and i hope you'll be able to accept me for what i really am i'll try bug i'll truly try cool. all right okay because th this is where i grew up in this hive on this planet and i know it seems strange and alien and, and butt ass fugly yeah but yeah okay <laughs> but i'm beginning to see that it's also got a lot of beauty too 
Come on, Fabio, try. Try to see it. Let me show you. Boy, aren't those a couple of those monstrous aliens which butchered our kid? Oh, oh yeah. No, that's no alien, that's Bog. Yeah, and it looks like he brought a friend with him, too. Okay, okay, okay wait. <laughs> Again, don't know how he knows that that's Bug. Second, but these guys just believe him? They just believe Roach? That's no Fred. That's his girlfriend. Oh, girlfriend. You mean his June bug? <laughs> his honey pot. His flame. Oh, but she's a who man. Oh, that means she has a skeleton on the inside. Gross. <laughs> Wait, I, I love these guys. <laughs> They're all so goofy. But yes, I guess it would be weird to have your skeleton on the inside. It's also just, you know, not a, not as useful. Well, no. Wait, okay, so they don't they don't have skeletons on the inside. That it that says so much about their biology. How do they, how do they manage to stay standing and breathing at such large sizes? Cuz Cause, cause there's a reason bugs don't get as big as, as humans and why they used to be big. It's cuz there was a lot more oxygen in the air. I think something like that. <laughs> hmm. I bet she thinks you're pretty unappealing, Joe. <gasps> Unless show her otherwise. Ooh, but we're not supposed to make contact with those guys. Yeah. Don't be such a walking stick in the mud. <laughs> okay. What nice things Bark's done for you? What has he done? All of us. Yeah. If he's gonna live happily ever after, we're gonna have to help him. Okay, so Bug just has a general reputation as a person who does a lot of nice things. Good to know. Good to know. The rumor mill works fast on Bug World? It, apparently. Very, very fast. Come on, let's show this human how romantic us bugs can be. Wait. <laughs> this is going to be really bad. <laughs> Don't. Th <laughs> we'll wrangle her heart. I'm so excited. How are we supposed to do that? We don't speak human. Oh, uh, maybe if we sing deep from our dorsal tubes, she won't have to understand to understand. To understand. No. no. Music is a universal language. Many languages, I recently heard this, many, you know, many different art forms have different things they specialize in. Uh, music, it's a direct connection right to your emotions, your heart. So, you know, I think this will go well. Follow my lead. I'm like going back and forth on whether this is good or bad. Look how the silk sway in the wind. Weaving their silk, regardless of what you've done or where you've been, they'll give ya. Yes. There's a slight issue that, you know, we know that the way they sound in bug is like really weird. But music should be universal, probably. Yeah. The dragon fly dances through the flowers. A brilliant ballet at 15 miles an hour. There's That's no really fast. To this vision of beauty. <laughs> and it might be slightly different from the things that you may know. <laughs> February is like, uh, okay. Can't deny there's something special when you see the night sky glow. So look out, it's around every corner. Sorry to interrupt the song with this random thought, but by the way, just wanted to say really quick dragonfly, if any dragonflies from our world were that size, they would be an apex predator capable of snatching humans up faster than we could think and then eating us in that amount of time. I just, I just had this thought when they said 15 miles an hour. Just, just wanted to say that. <laughs> Magical in the air. Don't hide from your oh, gosh. Don't ignore their <laughs> Wait, <laughs> did you see February's face? <laughs> it's like, give me a moment. <laughs> every corner. There's something magical in the Wait, air. uh, here. <laughs> She's terrified. And then when he looks back at her. 
She's like, ah. <laughs> she's trying. You know what? I respect that she's genuinely trying to be like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Time for another brand change. I don't know. Hey! What's going on out here? My lover trying to pupate for two to four months. Oh, hey, Bugget. We're just trying to get bug laid. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, my goodness, brand chat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Brant, Brant, Brant. Um, what was I saying? Uh, sucks that Baguette's here. But also, I, I guess she figured out something for her larva to grow. Good for, for her. Baguette, help us out. Uh, no. Why would I want to help out that skinny bitch? Don't be so Let's rude, Baguette. Her. The what? Check out the bees. Um, but anyway, I I, I kind of thought she was gonna help because like, okay, yeah, I guess if he loves her, then sure. They don't buzz around for money. They do it for free, making love, making honey. Spraying <laughs> how can you not fall in love? And it might make you sneeze, but you better believe. It's beautiful stuff. Her face. Then there's the wonder of the caterpillar. The best show in town. The ending is killer. Gosh, she really. Every time Bug gets around, it's like, I'm gonna kill you, or somebody's gonna. Someone's gonna die at the end of this growth phase. There's a marble, real life marble to be mine. <laughs> She's like. Please don't talk to me. <laughs> and it might sound cutesy, but there is beauty all around. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you've got 12 eyes or you've got two. Two. <laughs> because nothing needs any more than one to take in the view. Yeah. Hey, first date with a human. Uh -huh. Hey, well, here's a tip. You don't have any tips. <laughs> three instances of romantic physical contact throughout the evening. That'll steer you well away from the friend zone. <laughs> you know, good job. She's smiling, so good job, Bug. <laughs> I would say a little extreme, but... And I guess his advice worked. <laughs> Uh, going back to your biology question, my best guess is why they're so big. I think it's due to the combination of low gravity, an atmosphere, high in oxygen, and them being aliens. Probably the, them being aliens is mostly the answer, but I'll take the other stuff mostly as well. <laughs> hey, and if all else fails, you're nuts for <laughs> she's, she's like, she's so happy. He's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Chocolate. Oh, thanks, mister. Hey, no problem. Good luck, you two. Bye. They have chocolate? Good to know. If you're preoccupied with what's on the outside, you'll get lost in the how it can see. But open your <laughs> eyes and you'll be surprised to find out how much more something different can be. We don't got any um. kind of <laughs> No bug, don't abandon her, she said. <laughs> She's not ready to handle it alone. Oh uh, yeah, the, the Wrangler really has tips for every situation. He's like a, <laughs> he's like an in-game tips menu. He's a tutorial guy. Yeah, they're like communism if it worked. <laughs> Yeah. She is <laughs> like. 
You know what? Actually, I was thinking about it while seeing the scene. I do get more of what uh, the Langs were talking about, how they would want the puppets to be, like, uh, grosser and uglier. Because this scene is just kind of, like, sweet with them being cute. If the puppets were, like, actually kind of grody looking, I would, j I would understand more her reaction of, oh, my God. <laughs> It's probably Bugs World's <laughs> version of Hack's YouTube channel. Yes. Everywhere. Yay! She looks like she's about to throw up. <laughs> cool that they... <laughs> they managed to make that like look real. I I know like a lot of shows don't like liquids because then because besides the fact that it's kind of dangerous, you very get to clean that up really fast. <laughs> but I'm so glad that she tried. Brad, she excreted her filth for you. Oh right, for them that's a good thing. Wait, Dad! Oh, now they're so, cleaning it up. Uh, what do you think? Uh, bugs. Yeah. Uh huh. Look, I know that you're a boy. <laughs> <laughs> so you like bugs and boogers and peeing standing up and shit. <laughs> yeah. But um, I'm a girl, and I just think that all of this stuff was really gross. What? <laughs> I mean. No, bug. <laughs> Uh, I remember someone calling Mr. an NPC in, in, in game, so it's true. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> no, February. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty obvious she wasn't that into anything that just happened, but I mean, still. Maybe if this planet was inhabited by a race of shoes, I'd be really impressed. <laughs> but it's not, so I'm not. February. If you didn't like all those uh, really pretty bugs, I'm starting to think you might not like what I have to tell you either. Uh-oh. Don't be a space case. Bugs, it's not like I was disgusted by all that stuff because it was really pretty. I was disgusted by all that stuff because I irreconcilably hate bugs. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> That's kind of a problem. Okay, I'm around. What was it you wanted to show me? Like where you came from. Um, I, uh, oh my dead god! The starship you crashed and that's what you want to show me, isn't it? Well, not exactly. Yes, yeah. because there are there are warp crystals there. We can use the warp crystals in the starship that you crashed in to replace ours that are missing. You know what, Bug? I do accept you for who you really are. A genius. <laughs> uh well first of all, really good thing that they pointed that out. I hadn't even made that connection. Very smart thing. Just replace the warp crystals with the one in this other ship. Secondly, whew, this is not going well. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, I don't. I, what do you even do in this situation? She uh, she genuinely hates bugs. Maybe not like you know want to wipe them out or anything, but a. Yeah, no, they're disgusting. I, I don't know why I would want to be them. That's kind of something you can't really reconcile. I mean, eventually, I feel like if he reveals that, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm not too into that. <laughs> like, what can you what can you really do? Being with somebody that you, like, can't even look at is not exactly the best advice romantically I would give. <laughs> so... Changing bagel companies and take me to your starship. <laughs> Poor bug. 25 years of no spying now twice in one day. <laughs> it's like that bug really is as smart as everyone says he is, but. It, I mean, it just takes basic, like, levels of intelligence to apparently be a genius, which is wild. <laughs> but also, man, Junior has the best strategy. Just watch from off stage, and then you get everything that you need to know. <laughs> you know what they say, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. I think I'll use bugs to repaint my walls. 
Uh oh. I'll um. I you you should probably. You should. I'm fine. No, I feel like you should notice the very large thing. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Don't even worry about it. Oh. <laughs> she was she was really into that. I guess she's pregnant cuz that's that's what the females drink blood for to like feed their young. Oh gosh, we could have more of them. <laughs> well, here we are. The ship. God, you really grew up here? We're back. Yeah, it's kind of my own personal playground. I know it's not much, but it does have a great view screen. Uh, yeah. You can play oh the video. God. The mainframe computer system still works. Bug, let's pull up all the data we can on warp crystals. Hold on, let's see. All right, sure. We can know what a warp crystal is. Maybe what it does, how it works. That could be cool. Hey, the video changed. How'd you do that? Captain Clark, start it. During our approach to it. <laughs> All this time and Bug never figured out how to change the videos. That's so sad. <laughs> I mean, it, it might be a little more complicated than just pressing a button. So I guess fair enough. But oof. Wow. My first mate exploded. <laughs> what? <laughs> How? Someone really fire trucked up big time. Activate the emergency landing gear. We're going down. Oh no. Bug, I think this is the ship's memory. This is so weird. I'm so used to the scrambly version. Yeah. Captain's log. Oh, he's alive. At 02100 hours, our ship crashed into this alien planet. All right. The initial scouting missions have proved disastrous. After an encounter with a group of the hostile natives, one of my crewmen returned to the ship screaming like a lunatic. He kept going on about a, a xenomorph that planted an egg in his chest. <laughs> Xenomorphs? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's what happens. You're a mammal. They got mammal wranglers. It's just life, <laughs> I guess. Pain seemed fine until... <laughs> Something burst from his chest, something like a, a bug. Oh, I thought he was going to say chest burster. Get a full report back to the Galactic League along with this distress signal. Dead God save us all. Hold the video. Man, Dead God has been dead for a while. Video phone. The Galactic League was receiving transmissions from this planet all along. I thought it was completely uncharted. Well, now we know how. They knew about it. Uh, well, how the evil Junior and his father knew about this planet. They just ignored the signal. Classic. Grandma Gravy barricade that door! Damn it! I don't know how much time I have. Upon oh, gosh. response from the Galactic League, we attempted to capture one of the alien bugs for shipment back to the planet Earth. But we ran into something else out there. I didn't get a good look at it, but I turned my entire squad into jelly in a matter of seconds. Ah, uh, yeah, the, um... Pincer guy. What's his name? No Pincer? Starship Rangers! Heroes! <gasps> never seen anything like this before. The hunters have become the hunted, and it's wabbit season. <laughs> it's wabbit season. For God's sake, stay away from this planet! Oh, the monsters! Bugs! Alien. Yeah, yeah, the pinners. Pincer. Oh, see, I thought that that was like a mouth. It was a claw. Good to know. Confirmation. Damn, they cut him in half. That's impressive. That was a good video. <laughs> Until the end, when it got sad. Bug. <laughs> whatever you say, <laughs> Bug has like no emotional connection. He's like, oh, whatever. Damn, that was cool. Something doesn't add up here. You're right. Or maybe it does, but the number it adds up to is a double cross. Think about it. Why would the galactic guys? I take it all back. February is the top shines officer in this place. She knows. Please send us to this 
planet if they knew about the bugs already. Oh. oh, bug. I think I just had a think. What if? Let's go. Sent us to this planet. Uh huh. And sent me on the scouting mission. Okay. Because they wanted me to get captured. <gasps> why would they want to do that? I don't know, but it all makes sense. That's why when Junior interviewed me for this mission, he was asking me all those creeper questions like, "Are you often followed by illegal aliens?" And how big is your esophagus? I mean, I thought he was hitting on me. <laughs> I, I can kind of see why you would think that. Ki not not the illegal aliens one, but I guess you know what? I'm just gonna just move on. I <laughs> didn't say anything. But there are plenty of guys that would like to know that I don't really have a gag reflex. No gag reflex. That means it'd be really easy to plant an egg in your chest. <laughs> oh my god, bug. That's it! Bug, you're a genius. <laughs> yeah! Junior wanted me to get implanted so he could keep a baby alien hidden in here! Yeah! yeah. Then okay. I could sneak it past planetary customs and back to Earth! Ha! He probably thought I was too stupid to figure it out. And, well, I mean... Well, I mean, you only figured it out now, long after you would have been caught and implanted and... No, you're a genius. No, I, I... Forget it. Come on, Bug, <laughs> we gotta head back to the starship and warn the other rangers. Who All right. knows what diabolical deeds Junior is up to, even now? <laughs> Bug is always just so confused. He's like, huh? Yeah, whatever you say, <laughs> I guess. A lot, of, ah, a lot of darkness. Help, help me. Oh, hey, Junior. I'm in a weird situation. Nah, you're fine. <laughs> what? Who's that? Oh, my God, a giant mosquito. Uh, oh, another one. Yep. All right. That's pretty bad. All right, Bug World, is this the best you've got? Then bring it on. <laughs> it is not the best they got. That is. Oh. I didn't play. Oh, they're making it glow. Racquetball, it's in my brain. Just a little something that will allow us to communicate. It's a tradition. I was wondering how they would be able to, to talk. I'm glad that they got Should a solution. With all my victims, really, I like to pick their brains before I eat it. <laughs> eat my brain. Well, well, wait, wait, wait. Hasn't anyone ever told you that that human brains are are, are disgusting taste-wise? Yes, and and they 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 give you gas. That's very kind, but unfortunately for you, my boy, human brain is one of my favorite delicacies. It's a good good attempt, Junior. Not good enough. He's already knows. He's already got them the taste of human flesh. It's very dangerous to let animals get a taste of human flesh because they might like it and then they might want more. It's well worth the gas. Oh, God, you've eaten oh it does give you gas. Good to know. Wait, the other starship. You, you're the monster from all those distress calls. Oh yes, humans would always plead with me before we got started. They'd offer me knowledge and weapons and free rides in space, <laughs> but none of them ever realized. I'm an arachnid of simple taste. None of those things caught your attention. He's like, "Hey, what if I? What if? Big plan. I take you to a planet where with humans, and then you can just keep munching on humans." I just like eating brains. <laughs> For almost twenty years, I've had. I respect it though. It's just like, uh, hey, I like eating humans. That's that's my only motivator. But the memories to quell my hunger. But finally. I died again. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Why settle for just my brain when I could get you hundreds on my starship? It's it's full of colonists. Their brains could keep you full for years. Uh, it's very kind, but I've already got my friend Bog working on that for me. Uh, I don't know who your Bog friend is, but I don't think he's going to get all those humans down to this planet. That's why I'm fortunate that my friend Bog isn't a Bog. <gasps> he's a human. Yeah. Bug is working with you. Well, he's returning a favor. He wasn't always human, you know. Now he thinks that, dang it, Bug really is a genius. He betray he double betrayed us. <laughs> Even though Bug is like, nah, I, I just want to be friends. <laughs> oh, that was my handiwork. 
bug is a bug? I don't believe it. Yes, it's crazy. I know. <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's beyond belief. Bug is a bug. That's true. Now enough chit chat. If I don't eat you soon, I'll be too full for when Bug brings the rest of the humans that landed here as my main course. <laughs> bug isn't bringing you any humans. Oh uh, yes, yes. That was our deal. Uh, well, I'm sorry to have to be the one to break this to you, but Bug isn't delivering those humans to you. Quite the opposite, actually. He he rescued them and brought them up to the starship, well out of your reach. What? He told me he was bringing them back here for dinner. I don't think he quite understood my full meaning, but shit, he promised. <laughs> I, he definitely did not understand, but I, I think Bug is just kind of a guy who gets taken with the flow. Like, maybe he, if he was really thinking about, oh, wait, I got to take you guys back here. But then they were like, no. And then it's like, okay, I guess not. Yeah, sure. Let's just go, I guess. <laughs> He's too taken with being a human to really care about fulfilling this promise. Hey, hey, I'm with, I'm with you, man. I mean, I mean, friends don't break promises. It's it's pretty rude, actually. I mean, he's treating you like you're some kind of a a dumbass. Careful with your words. Okay. I am not a dumbass. I mean, he's, he's treating you like one. He didn't even know I was evil. You know, I feel like he barely knows you at all. I'm so furious at that little piss ant bug. Because of him, I'll be eating tasteless insect sludge forever. Unless... Uh, yeah, and you know, that's not fair. I mean, a bug of your stature, you, you ought to be munching on brain stems at every meal. You oh, he freed his arm. Full, full his other arm. <laughs> too much to ask. Not at all, my friend. I mean, if you ask me, you ought to be in charge of this planet. That is what I've always said. But the Overqueen just wanted to eat me so she could make more eggs. Uh, well, uh, she sounds like a bitch. Oh, <gasps> you can't say that about the Overqueen, even if those, it's true. <laughs> I've always despised the Overqueen and her hive. The only thing that's brought me true joy is eating the brains of weakling humans. But now Bug has taken that away from me forever. I mean, in this way, they're both evil, which means uh, he and the, you know, Galactic League. So they kind of are kindred spirits in that way. I think they'll get along really well. Hey, I have an idea. No, it probably wouldn't work. What? He's doing the exact same thing back at Finster. I love that. Uh, no, it's it's stupid. If I tell you, you'll think that I'm stupid. Then I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> Literally word for word copied. <laughs> I guess that goes to show Pinter is not that smart. <laughs> you don't have to be embarrassed in front of me. We're friends. Then again, a lot of people, you know, it's direct manipulation towards others and don't realize they are being manipulated as well so <laughs> it's pretty natural i guess okay what if i told you i could get you all the brains you could ever eat and help you get revenge on bug mm -hmm. i'd ask you what you want in return and i hope it's not another human body because i'm all out of those <laughs> <laughs> i think he's fine no i do have a few requests though number one uh don't eat me Fair enough. Number two, get me those weapons the humans offer to you. And three, tell me more about this Overqueen and her eggs. I think I can make that happen. My name's Pinsa. This actually is a perfect deal for them because if he, Junior, goes, you know, gets the weapons, attacks the hive, burns it down or whatever, shoots all the aliens, takes the eggs, he's. There you go. We, they can now make, you know, biological weapons. And Pinsir gets to rule over the planet and eat humans probably forever. Everyone is so stupid. I love it. I know. <laughs> uh, even, look, I think Bug is like one of the smarter characters. And even he's like an idiot. Actually, no. No, he's just an idiot. But he's just really lucking into, <laughs> into being emotionally smart. There you go. That's better. That's a better way to say it. I'm Junior. Maybe you heard of me. No. Mm. Hey, Pincer. Mm. What do you say you and me kick it up a notch? Yeah. Oh? Let's kick it up a We're notch. getting another reprise? <laughs> no. I, I was really hoping we'd get a reprise of that. <laughs> I mean, we might still, maybe, later. Finding a replacement for Orphic Crystal. 
That task has proved problematic, sir. It's even <gasps> various systems on the ship are being overridden. Overridden? Where the hell is Hoyer? The, the wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that was so. That, I love that little. I didn't even pay attention to that. Wait a moment. There she is, <laughs> exercising at the, the weights. <laughs> They're anti gravity weights that you gotta pull them down, not up. That. <laughs> Wait. There's something we need to tell you. It's Junior. He's a dick. What? <gasps> it's true. He's been lying to everyone all along. He knew about my crashed starship. He knew everything about the bug world. And he even wanted February to get captured. <sighs> yes, the Galactic League of Extraterrestrial Exploration wants to capture the bugs so they can make their own twisted abomination. Damn that makes sense. -E -E. They're always making twisted ab That G-L-E-E? -E? Glee? <laughs> We're back. We're good. <laughs> uh, what? What do you gotta leave? Leave off? Whatever. It's a Glee reference. Very funny. <laughs> they really love making fun of Darren's job. If I remember correctly, Darren was actually in the audience of the filming of this. That makes it extra funny. I love that. Let's just move on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we look at the audience like. Oh, Darren is absolutely in the audience. That like wink. <laughs> and the meanest part about it is that he handpicked all of us because he thought we were too stupid to figure it out. Like, <gasps> he picked you because you're a total pussy. Oof. He picked you because you're completely unstable. And he all picked right. you because you're a four eyed point dexter dweebarama. <gasps> and he only wanted me for my body. <laughs> I'm. Yes, but also, wow, rude. This is all conjecture, by the way. This is like confirmation that that's exactly why he wanted it. Probably is. This is her reasoning for why she wanted them. Not my mind. So, yeah. Junior handpicked us all because he thinks we're handicapped, huh? Well, well, what, what about her? She, she doesn't have any neck. It's about time we show Junior just how handy we can be. <laughs> all right. So yeah. Probably that cabron hoonier right now. Crander, prepare to take our friend Junior into custody. Junior's about to come in with like <laughs> an RPG or something. All right, you're under arrest, man. Huh? Uh oh. Does no one have a weapon? G guys, shoot. I guess not. Hey, Pincer. Wanted to take your human friends away and keep them for yourself. Well, now I see that you're a very greedy little insect. Such a shame, though. We really do have so much in common. No, no, Pincer. I never meant to do that. Why, why don't you just put her down and we can all be friends, huh? Friends! I told you I was coming back here for dinner. Now that you're in that body, I think I'll have you, too. Have them for dinner. Have me, too. Oh, Pincer! You are the giant scorpion from those videos. You, you, you ain't the survivors of the first starship. Shocking. I can't believe the giant scorpion. Uh, to be fair, there are multiple of different species, so maybe there are other giant scorpions. But also, <laughs> there can't be that many. <laughs> you, you, you're evil. Uh, no, no. Oh, uh, uh, what are all them googly noises coming out of your mouth? Um, you chatting with this thing? Uh, What's uh, going on, Bob? Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to save February. You put February down right now. February, that's right. You mentioned her before. You said she was the one human that trusted you. Okay. Well, it seems that while I've been lying to you, you've been lying to her. Let's see how much these humans trust you when they know the truth. Bug, what's going on? Uh, uh, don't worry, February. We're just, uh, we're negotiating his surrender. They're trying. Uh, you think I'm a fool? I may not speak their language, but I've eaten enough humans to know what they are. <laughs> is that is that how that works? <laughs> can taste our emotions from here. Now tell them the truth. <laughs> is that how that works? <laughs> February, February. I'm not who I say I am. Uh huh. Pincer here. He uh. He helped me switch bodies so that I could get to know all of you. What? Yeah. 
that starship bridge. I'm not even a human. I'm... I'm a bug. <laughs> you know what? I will say, though, February's expressions are so real. <laughs> They're so genuine. Like, like that, could, that expression of confusion, like, genuine, like, what? Like, what are you saying? It, it felt, like, very real. And then, you know, gets a little over-exaggerated, but still. I'm, I'm a bug in a human body. Ha <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude for making them weep so. I like my meat nice and tender. Prepare to say goodbye to your little friend. Oh, oh gosh, what's happening? Oh, right, I completely forgot. Mega Girl was supposed to kill everybody. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Junior outsmarted them. I, I didn't even think about that part of Junior's plan. He sends them up to the spaceship, and then they die when it explodes. <laughs> and now all of his enemies are dead. Genuinely smart. It's not over yet, man! Run! You did have a gun? I've got him pinned down like a piece of Arturian poon tag! What? Oh, they got him. Somebody like me is gonna kill you and your whole effing race, man. Oh yes, that's very nice. I mean, I I'd hope not the whole race. Bug is, you know, Bug's part of that. And Roach. Let's go. Those cucarachas can't be far behind. So you thought I was too stupid, huh? Too stupid to figure out you're a bug. But you didn't figure it out, and I told you twice. Don't talk to me, Bug. I've had enough of your lies. Uh, yikes. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he did tell her twice, huh? <laughs> but, like, it's kind of hard to tell her something like that. E even if you say it, it, how do you believe that? Oh, come here, come here. Let it out, let it out. Thank you. Oh, you no, 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 I never meant for anyone to get hurt up. You gotta believe me. I, I don't know what means anything anymore. No, up. Uh, what? Rex, go find Tootsie. Reverse the core overload. Rex. They're coming. Damn it. Uh, Give me this. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh, I think so. I've used a blow dryer before. Nope. That, you don't aim that at yourself. Also, you took it from up. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. If something attacks you, you pretend you're trying to blow dry his hair. Now go lock yourself in your room. Uh, okay, got it. She's, she's already aiming it at herself. No, Taz. Up, oh, you need a gun. At least get a weapon, something. That's a lot of science stuff. Good luck, oxygen sucker. Mega girl, what are you doing? You shouldn't be here. It's dangerous. Allow me to interface with this synthetic being. Greetings, humanoid, robotic, artificial intelligence. My name is Beck. Known to my guild and throughout the metaverse, I am known as the super intelligent I thought he said metaverse for a second. <laughs> well, there goes Specs. What'd you do that for? It was necessary to ensure 100% success of my primary direct. 100. I, I love the, like, drop in tone for percentages. <laughs> Kill all humans. Oh, Mega girl, what about us? There is no us. I am merely an empty vessel, a hollow parody of that which you consider alive, unable to truly feel. No, that. Mega girl. This approximation to a feeling that I possess is the synthetic rage that hums through my circuitry at my godless human creator. How could you make me so like you, and yet so unlike you? Please, that's not true, Mega girl. You and me, we the same. That statement is so incorrect. I am unable to produce a logical response. No. Mega girl. <laughs> I, I also this explains, by the way, before the confusion about why Mega Girl, you know, was able to fall in love. It's because you had a bunch of behavioral patterns being recorded. And you know, 
sim is simulated emotions different from real emotions? I would say not. If you feel it, you feel it, right? <sighs> it's so sad. This is for you to die to see new dells. New dells. No, <laughs> she's going for the throw. That's not my name. <gasps> but change my name to Tootsie Mega Girl. You could do that? Also, whoa. Where I come from, farm planet. Your first name is what you do, and your second name is what you love. Oh. <laughs> um, wow. I, I, I really thought for a second that he's about to be like, my name is John or something. <laughs> Revealed that Tootsie Noodles was a complete lie. He's actually not even from Farm Planet. <laughs> this is crazier. <laughs> and Mega Girl's like, what? You could love me, even though I am a robot. Even though I am not real. Oh, real? The feeling I get when I'm close to you, when all my hair stand up, that's real. Oh. That's probably the electric, you know circuits within her making your hair stand up but oh, <laughs> giggles I get in my noggin when you're talking about killing things oh shit girl that's real whoa, whoa. Oh, girl. I, I'd love you if you was the horse that ate my cousin wow <laughs> that's real love also I mean wow <laughs> that's this is a lot about him that you'd love her if you was a horse I mean, I guess he's the one person who could genuinely be like, if, would you love me if I was a worm? He'd be like, yes, absolutely. My cousin was a bag of hay. <laughs> I'd love you anyway. <laughs> I respect it. Also, the emotion in that they're managing to put in, even as doing like the goofy accent, is genuinely, I love it. <laughs> Give her a moment. Take, it takes a second. Downloading new emotion. Download complete. Whoa. This emotion was downloaded from the interweb and could have viruses. Are you sure you want to open it? I do. I do. Let's hope it doesn't have viruses. It would be really bad if it did. <laughs> By the way, I like Meredith's acting in this better than a a v p s y. It feels more naturally slash true to the character since she's a robot. So yeah. Uh, like, I complained about her in as Hermione, but in this position, she, her n way of enunciating things really, really fits the character. New emotion installation complete. What emotion? It is love. It is love. Yes. I love you, Tootsie Mega Girl. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> it's like... She doesn't wear makeup. Okay, Spicks. Mega girl. Let's go and see. You can pick her up? How bad? That's he's strong. How much does she weigh? She, I mean, you're not supposed to ask a woman her weight, but she's a robot. She, she's probably like 200, 300 pounds. Good for them though. Gosh, they're really good at getting people from behind. <laughs> Just, I don't, you, you guys got to look around, have some more, you know, sense of your surroundings. At least hear the buzzing. Ooh. God, they're all sucking their blood. Oh, you got to do something. Yes. Up. Up is using all of his his rage. You bugs want blood? Then take it. Come on, I said take some. 
Oh. <laughs> They're really going for it. <laughs> I feel like you could just, you know, try fighting a little bit. I don't know, punch him, push him around a bit. Well, there's supposed to be a distraction, I guess, so. Come on, big guy. It's all you can eat. Taz. Damn you! Damn you, you damn fool! Oh. Damn you and your big damn heart! No, Taz, she's crying. You want blood? Then take it. Oh my gosh, I love the sound of that heartbeat. Up is a tough fool with the biggest, strongest heart. Pop! This is a world where if you're just confident enough, I mean, Taz stabbed herself multiple times in the stomach. If you are just tough enough, you can ignore. All the damage. And by tough, it's just like, nah, I'm, I'd am i win. That kind of tough. <laughs> and now they're dying because their stomachs exploded. Or whatever the balloon is called, I guess. The power of love. Yes. <laughs> The breathing exercises. You laughed at him, Taz. You laughed. Your puny bodies must not have been able to handle all of my blood. <laughs> Buck was right. I just needed to learn how to kill with my heart. I don't think that's what Buck meant, but yeah, I loved I it. I killed them all, Taz. I killed them yeah. all. <laughs> uh we're cheering about the weirdest parts of this but yeah sure let's not forget he's half robot honestly that's probably mostly why he survived that You know what? Actually, Taz brings up a very good point. He's just like, what, why was it a big deal that Upton lost his balls when he, she never had balls? <laughs> huh. Whatever. He's still a killer. Good for him. Now, come on. Let's go help out the rest of the crew. Quick. Hop on my back. I can run faster than the two of us combined. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Wait. They had it synchronized. Like... Choreographed. This is a thing they've done a lot. The characters, not the actors, obviously. Whew. Thank God I made it. Hey, well, thank dead God. Wait a second. This isn't my room. Uh, confused much? Uh, Gonna get you. Get away from me. Hey, Pincer. It seems it's just you and me now. Please aim the gun. Just like a blow dryer. No, no. Stand back. I know how to use this thing. Ah! Okay, I think I've had quite enough joking around for one day. I think it's finally time for dinner. Hey You're supposed to blow dry their hair. <laughs> hey, Pincer. Hey, what? I hope you like shish kebab. Why? Because you should always like yourself. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Good job, Bug. Bug! Bug, what are you doing here? Quick, February, open the outer airlock. But, but, <gasps> you'd be sucked out into space and die? It doesn't matter, I've got Pinscher trapped. This early also, he won't die. He has his bug body. He'll be fine. <laughs> I guess. Why did you lie to me, Bug? February. 
At first, I just wanted to help you escape from the hatchery. But I knew I loved you. The second also, it's really cool that they made these doors clear. That I didn't know. I didn't realize they could do that because these doors are, like painted. <laughs> I thought. I laid eyes on you in that leaf cassette. And I didn't think I'd ever see you again. So, so when Pincer here gave me the chance not just to be with you, but to be one of you, oh, oh I took it. But I didn't think because uh, being Starship Ranger has been the only thing I've wanted more than anything my whole life. No. <laughs> well, I lied. I know the truth now, everybody. I, uh, I'm not a starship ranger. No. I'm a bug. Bug! <laughs> well, we got a saying on Bug Rub, huh? The needs of the many bugs outweigh the needs of the few bugs. Or the one bug. <laughs> so die so everyone else could survive, huh? Still calling him a damn bug. <laughs> you are the finest Starship Ranger I have ever seen. No, I'm, I'm crying. <laughs> Can we just acknowledge that Joey's very good at crying? Yeah, he's really good. I'm also tearing, tearing up. Be your commander, bud. Thanks, sir. It's been a ride. February, I want you to know that even though I lied about being a bug, I meant everything else. You are the most beautiful, the funniest little bug, and the smartest girl I've ever met. No, Pitcher, he's, he's getting free. Goodbye, bug. No! <laughs> bug. I mean, I, I, I think he's alive still because he's like connected like brain wise to the other one but no <laughs> he still died and Pitzer's dead oh gosh that made me so sad <laughs> Whew. Uh, gunships off stage just and crying gas So I came here. They could have run. Slow down, slow down. What's going on? Oh, Buck, you have to help. What? What's, What's happening? happening? It's one of the humans. A real nasty looking one showed up at the hive with some kind of giant weapon and just started shooting. Wait, why? I don't know. But he's headed for the Overqueen. Junior. He wants to get to the Overqueen because he wants the eggs. Roach, he, he wants to take her back to Earth. <gasps> but if she's gone, the hive and every bug in it will die. Uh, they'll all just die? I mean, I, I understand that they can't reproduce without her because she lays the eggs, but they'll just die. What do we do? What do we do? Well, I gotta what go. Do we do? I, gotta, I gotta talk to him. Stop him. Wait, 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 wait. Please save the Overqueen. I love her. Oh. Roach. I'm gonna get the job done if it's the second last thing I do. Second last. Is that because he died already? Oh. Gosh, Junior's just making his Oh, Jesus <laughs> I, I do wonder what the <laughs> Obviously, they don't have, like, this explosion Yes, like, green screen effect <laughs> On stage I wonder how they simulate that Gosh, Junior is having the time of his life I knew we'd get a hurt. <laughs> yes. A <laughs> oh my gosh. Cause I'm evil and I'm bad to the bone. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> yeah, I'm smoking pot. Yeah. Food is all grown up. Yeah. I'm having a blast. Blowing <laughs> shit up. <laughs> I love to kick it up a notch and watch all of you 
That's like a minigun, my goodness. <laughs> I love that reprint. I I knew we would get one because, you know, I mean, that's just classic, like, villain stuff. But I'm so glad we got it, <laughs> especially after that fake out before when they were talking. You must be the Over Queen. Oh, she's shivering. Junior, maybe you heard of me. Junior, stop. Bug? Gosh, Bug, you don't have a weapon. Bug. At last we meet. Face to hideous face. Junior, I don't think you know what you're doing. If you take the Overqueen, the whole hive will die. Uh, bug my friend. I don't give a rat's ass about your hive. Uh, <laughs> it's funny that he says that he's evil while he's wearing pink sunglasses. Hey, pink is a manly color. <laughs> That's why I'm using this gun to explode this shit. What? But, but can't you see these bugs? You're hurting them. Bug, I don't, I don't think you realize, he's evil. <laughs> oh, boohoo, Bug, I'm so sorry. Not, I'm taking that Overqueen bastard back to Earth with me because it's going to make me a million space bucks. And I'm going to use that money to buy weed. <sighs> weed is evil, guys. Now we know. That's the whole motivator for this. <laughs> he's all you can think about yourself. You know, we have a saying here on Bug. I don't, he doesn't care. The needs of the many bugs outweigh the needs of the few bucks. My life for the hive. I don't... You got a saying where I come from too, Bug. All right, let's hear it. God save the queen. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> but... Lucky for me, God is dead. <laughs> was that the whole reason this one line is why they had the whole dead god thing dead god dead god dead god <laughs> and here we are god save the queen but god is dead so i'm gonna k take the queen <laughs> i love that in hell. Tell him Junior sent you. <laughs> no but dead god is should be in heaven i hope <gasps> baguette Gosh, we finally get a view of Bugette's bottom half. It's massive. I only now realize that Bug probably felt everything when his human body dies. For, for him, he really died once. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Uh, and dying from space is not as fast as you would hope. <laughs> you know, it's like you freeze. If you hold your breath, your lungs will explode from the vacuum. <laughs> So just don't hold your breath. Just let all the air get taken from you. But even, but I guess you probably wouldn't want that since that would just mean that you're alive longer in space. And you'll freeze to death very, very quickly. But not instantly. Poor Bug. Oh no, Bugget. Oh god damn it. Why'd you have to go and be so brave? No. I'm not brave, Bug. I'm in love. <gasps> no. No, no, Bugette, stay with me. You're gonna be okay. Bug, Bug, would you sing to me like you did your whole mind? Oh. But if just once, I'd know what it's like to be your girl. Yes, I will. Oh. Maestro. <laughs> Maestro. Oh. I'm dead. Ah, it's not enough time. But also, wow, that really hurt. <laughs> that hurt, that genuinely hurt a lot. Knowing that even at the end, even after everything, she did love him. <sighs> like, I, I, I feel so bad. <laughs> Because, like, you know, Bug didn't love her back. And that and that hurts. And since we've been seeing it from Bug's perspective, it's been kind of like, oh, whatever. It's goofy. It's whatever. And then here we are at the end, realizing, man, but she really did genuinely love him. The real ship of the show, and I stand by that. <laughs> at least they got the happy end in real life. Yeah, man. 
True. Because it's uh, Joey and uh, Lauren. But also, man, in the show. That was really sad and really beautiful. But I didn't understand one damn word of it. <laughs> uh, it's really easy to not empathize when you don't like, understand, huh? <laughs> That's so pointless. Doesn't your little boyfriend know he can only die once? Uh, but I've got a lot of bullets. <laughs> Hello, bug. <sighs> I'm the rain. It's time to... What if the glasses just fell off? Also, bug doesn't understand that reference. It's So it's, this reference is just for you, Junior. Wash the spider out. What the hell I knew it. Was that? It's time. They're here. Bug. And they don't have a... <laughs> and they don't have a body to eat. Well, they didn't have a body to eat. Are, are they friendly? Hey, Junior. Here's a tip. Newborn bugs devour the nearest man. Yes, he's copying uh, the bug regular. Don't look now, but that's you. Yes, yes, the bug regular. His advice saves the day in the end. Good job, Bug. And Bingo was his name. <laughs> Gotta finish off with that stinger. <laughs> I mean, you didn't really... I guess you saved the day mainly by delaying him until that happened. Bug, you did it. No. Okay, thank you for acknowledging it. It's gone! We're saved! Yeah! Hooray! Oh. Oh, yeah, hey, over Queen. Let it be known that on this day, our hive swarms on. Thanks to the courage of one small bug and bugger. the love of one oh. little bugger. Yeah. Memory live on with each newborn chrysalis. Just, uh. <laughs> larva and <laughs> they just came in and said, like, all right, let's get this body out of here. Of the hive now and forevermore. Bye, bugger. My bug girl. Oh. Oh, no. Nourishment. Oh, no. You just can't waste it, guys. Oh, It'd be nice if you didn't say yum while you're eating her. At least you're crying. It's fine. Uh, great. So what I wanted to say, Junior also <laughs> obviously didn't know the Bugette was a girl because he called her Bug's boyfriend. Yeah, I, I noticed that. I just didn't comment on it. I thought I'd never see you again. And I thought I'd never be able to burn deep in your vaginal canal again. Uh. Ooh, ooh, well, it's still early. I don't have to be back at the spawning pool for another three times. Cycle. Oh, you can walk? <laughs> you can move? I'll only take one. Oh, and Bug? Oh, yes, Mrs. Overqueen? Perhaps I was a bit hasty giving you the job, Eggplanter. Wait, you can change the jobs? Your talents would be better utilized elsewhere. Like where, ma'am? Well, what with all these alien visitors, we're going to need someone to keep the peace. Well, I oh. know a few bugs that would be pretty good at that. Have you ever met Bumbly or Bugette? Oh. <sighs> yeah. You, Bug. Ouch. <laughs> What? How would you like to be our very first hive ambassador? Well, that would be. I'm oh, it's not a. It's not a starship ranger, but. Eh, I think it'll take. You take it. Well, can I get back to you on that? Where are you going? To see if I still deserve the job. Bug, you'll miss the running of the snail. <gasps> snail racing. <laughs> My favorite game in Undertale, snail racing. <laughs> uh, Bug is not the brightest, but he's cute, so it's okay. <laughs> yes. I mean, he's cute, but mainly he's earnest. He's so, so earnest. 
like you know he's honest with the beliefs general like what he wants he only really lied about one thing but even that he was like trying to tell the truth about it but the whole situation just got in the way and he but he's so earnest like when he was talking with up he's like nah i, I like you because you're honest you're emotional and here we are he's like do i even deserve this job i love him this has been a great musical so far Oh, they're having a funeral for Buck. <laughs> and hut! We are gathered here today to pay our final respects to our honored dead. Yeah. But who we lay to rest here in his native soil. Oh, right. None of them had any idea how the whole, like, body switching thing works. As far as they're aware, he's actually dead. <laughs> Yeah, literally nobody else no knows how it works. <laughs> so, Bug, I know that your body exploded. Oh, he, you're right. Crayander's alive. And that the few remaining bits of it that we managed to salvage are all lying in a pile in this box of my feet. <laughs> Did February not know that? <laughs> but I like to think that you're still out there. So, would you settle for somewhere right here? <gasps> It's a bad fall. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Wait, wait. Pause, pause. You're too old for this. No, guys, it's me, Bug. Bug? Yeah. I yeah. know I look a little different, but you see, when my body died up there, I woke up down here. And I know it's weird, but I'm still the same old Bug. What do you say, everybody? February? Oh, Bug. Oh, right, at the very beginning. She was, like, touching him, like, because her eyes were covered. So I guess she would re recognize the feel of him. <laughs> I love that the show's entire message is just loving someone for who they are, <laughs> warts and all, and not wanting to change anything. True. I, I do like that as well. Because no one here really changed too much. It they mostly just accepted who they were. And everybody else is like, you know what? I accept that you are that. <laughs> it's just like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Just like Shrek. Well, I'd understand if you still hate bugs. Well, I thought I hated bugs. But there's one that makes me feel like I'm more than I ever thought I could be. Yay. It's <laughs> No! <laughs> Pincers. <laughs> Bug is so dumb, I love him. Guys, I'm stuck! He's got me! <laughs> Yay! I love you, Bug! <laughs> Joey looking away. So, much. so yeah, oh boy. Pop. Oh my gosh. That's the greatest honor you could give. My pleasure circuits are at a maximum capacity. Why we're just getting started. Come on. Oh damn, they're max. To you, Ultra Beam Mega Girl. That's her full name? Tootsie Mega Girl. To be your lawfully wedded husband. Affirmative. And to you, Tootsie Mega Girl. <laughs> I love his expression. He's just like so bashful all the time. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie, this is a bit strange. Yeah, I mean, seeing her kiss a bug is a little, uh, but it's that he's cute. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. The hell yeah. Interesting. I guess the states are just the same, and France is also there. 
the cut the earth is just exactly the same but it's the future <laughs> Uh, not quite. Yeah. Uh, he... <laughs> oh, uh, guys, uh, I hope you don't mind, but I invited some friends along. Well, we... Ah, uh, she's like, ooh. We might be slightly different from the things that you may know. They, they still can't understand that, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> I like that this is the third time Meredith has gotten proposed to in a Star Kid show. Twisted, this one. What's the other one? <laughs> and twice by Dylan. Also hilarious. But you can't deny the similarities that we all have below. So look out. It's around every corner. There's something magical in A very Potter senior year. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> All right, Tiger, teach me something. All right, let's listen to Bug. Repeat after me. Okay. Eep. 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 Ah. Op. Orc. Orc. Eep op orc. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Uh, uh. What does that mean, Bug? It means I love you. Eep op orc. Ah uh, ah uh, to you too, Bug. <laughs> Eep op orc. Ah, 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 to all of you, I guess. Oh, 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 is neither near or there. very weird, I would say, but I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> Love that. I love that musical. <laughs> it was it was so goofy the whole thing, but I don't know. I think it was fun. <laughs> no, it's specifically fun because it was goofy. The puppets were great. The all the aliens that they had like you know I don't even know what they're called. Like, mostly. they had like little statues of all the aliens. <laughs> Matt Lang, Nick Lang, talents, incredible talents. <sighs> and what a beautiful song to end. Uh, it, it it was a very sweet musical. I think I think that's my favorite part about it. How sweet and sincere it is. Um. Everybody was just <laughs> we Tootsie Noodle and Bug were such earnest people in very in very different directions. Where Tootsie Noodle is so like just crazy sweet about like, hey, I'm dumb, but I love you genuinely. <laughs> and then Bug is just like just a nice guy, like a genuinely nice person. And a lot of the help he does and and progress that he gives is just that he helps them that he just helps people he's just nice he accepts you as you are and all of we we mentioned it briefly but nobody really changed in this and now that, and that's not a complaint at all uh bug loves february and she's an idiot but that's fine that's like part of what he loves about her and like up acknowledges yeah she's oh yeah she's dumb and then he's like yeah i know i love her <laughs> i love it i love or just i love her she's the best i think 
What? <laughs> and up and then up in Taz, like their whole situation is just up. Like Taz hates the fact that he's changed, but in the end, she does accept his like the new up. But as long as we can have some of the old up back, the true up, really, the up that was broken by the robot war. So, which which is interesting because in the end, up didn't change; he just became himself plus the new him and then taz taz didn't change at all <laughs> she just kind of accepted that <laughs> she learned that you know what there's other ways to be t tough oh uh, yeah hey, hey lizzie you are a bit late <laughs> you'll be able to watch it later oh man i just i love that so much let's see mega girl she was just learning to, to realize man I can be loved by a human despite being a robot. And also, I do have emotions, and that's fine. I love them. <laughs> well, he called her the smartest girl he's ever met, so I'm not sure if he knows that <laughs> she's an idiot. I did get that she didn't figure out his bug identity, though, so I don't know. I think he knows that he's not that she's not smart, but he's like, nah, you're the smartest human I've ever met, so... <laughs> I don't know. It, it's like... <laughs> Uh, she's an idiot. Yeah, with a smile. It's exactly his reaction. <laughs> Mega girl learned to download emotions from the interweb. Good for her. Be careful not to download viruses. That could be a bit dangerous. Uh, Pug also only knows three human girls. So yeah, the stand the, the standard's not that high. <laughs> hey, Cube, you arrived at the end of the stream. Uh, doesn't up and say something like she's an idiot yeah no that's exactly what i'm talking about and she's like yeah she's the greatest oh man the other characters uh eh, we don't really get too much with them they're mostly just side characters uh i'm glad that roach is just such a bro <laughs> he's just like i care about you man i we've been together since the you know since we popped out of those eggs uh <laughs> bugget i was very neutral neutral on for a while to slightly negative but only because roach really didn't like her even though she was trying like to be with him but in the end i was like man <laughs> the the fact that bug sacrificed herself for bug after everything and even like before that like she was willing to help with the whole okay we're trying to get bug laid because he's he loves her he's like oh well fine i'll help even though it hurt her from that moment was when I really started liking Bugette. And then she sacrificed herself. Ah! <laughs> oh, man. It's just... I just love it. I, I heard you, Cube. Uh, Bug is a morosexual, but it's more romantic. In my head, he's canon asexual because of how he responds to the whole Bugette thing. <laughs> But I guess it's sort of up into interpretation. I like it. I can see either way. I can I can very much see that. <laughs> That's fine, Cube. <laughs> I was just acknowledging. I was just telling you that I saw it. <sighs> but all right. I hope that you guys enjoyed that Star Kid musical. It was. It was a blast. I don't know. I, maybe it's just the recency bias, but I really like that. That's like that's in my tops right now. As I settle down, I'll see like where it is on compared to the other uh, Team Star Kid musicals I watched. But I really, really like that. A uh, sad fact: in a live stream talking about the upcoming musical, Nick mentioned that Pinsir puppet was thrown away during a move, and that all remains of him is his head. No, <laughs> Pinsir. <laughs> Oh, Pinsir, he just wanted to eat human brains. This is sad, so sad. <sighs> Oof, I <laughs> spilled water. <laughs> Alright, for real though, outro time. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that Star Kid musical. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you will enjoy whatever we watch next, which I will make a poll about 
on YouTube. You can go down there and vote. Uh, we'll have other stuff. You guys can vote. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Tomorrow, I will probably be playing Minecraft on stream. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't committed to it. <laughs> but if not, then not. I hope to see some of you guys there. But if not, I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> there you are. I was trying to remember the date, even though it's always Thursday. On Thursday, where we'll watch another musical. Maybe Steam Star Kid. Maybe their sister company. Maybe something else. I don't know. Whatever people say. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, boo. This is the outro song. Do do. This is the outro song. Do do. This is the outro. Outro outro outro. This is the outro song. Do do. This is the outro song. This is the outro song. Do do. This is the outro song. This is the outro song. Do do. I sing the outro song because we got no outro song. Do do. Outro outro song. Outro outro song. Do do. Bye.